Well, I met Tyson over six years ago. You know, I could barely get a hello out of the guy. He just always had his head down in the machine. At first, I thought he was kind of quiet, and I realized that when he's in his zone and working with such a complicated part, his focus is so strong that whenever you go up to him, he can go through and be able to talk to you and also work with this crazy part with ease. I've worked with Tyson many years now, and he's a very intricate person. He's very smart, and he's very capable, willing, and able to produce anything that he sets his mind to. It's really good to see someone have that passion in machining. It always affects others and makes other people want to manufacture. It's pretty strong too. You can pick up a pretty big piece of titanium. He has come so far since I met him and uh, now he's, he's programming and running some of the craziest rocket parts that I've ever seen. And uh, I'm really proud of the guy. The purpose of the project, of the Uniquely Able project, is to facilitate opportunities for Uniquely Able folks to have successful jobs. I'm very excited that Titan's coming here. I love his energy. I love his commitment. And then to have Tyson, his son, come, for these students to see someone like them and to say, wow, he made it, I can do that too. We believe in the student population. We want to give them the opportunity that they would not have otherwise. Just among autism, the rate today is one out of 67. It's an epidemic. I was on the mainland. My two sons were in Hawaii, and I was like locked over here, not even being able to see my kids. At the same time, you know, there was a huge hardship because, you know, I found out that my son had been diagnosed with Asperger's, and I never really dealt with autism. I didn't really understand it. When I saw him, I, I thought that everything was good, you know what I mean? And, and he, he was struggling, and I wasn't there for him. What is important to get about a parent who has a child that's uniquely able is the first thought they have is, I hope I live one day longer than my kid, because nobody else is going to take care of him. My son came to live with me, and, and he didn't want to work. But I said, if you're going to live with me at 18, you're going to work at the shop or work at McDonald's or, you know, do whatever you want to do. But you're going you're gonna to leave the house and you're going to work. So he worked at the shop and bought me every second of the way. I remember constantly going to his office and being like, I don't, don't want to do this anymore. I don't, I don't like working here. And eventually, I got to run bigger parts, more important parts. Um, just got more interesting. One of their disadvantages in life is a real advantage when you're talking about running one of these CNC machines. Future CNC experts extraordinaire. Make it happen. What had happened is I had a whole bunch of parts for an aerospace company, and I had the heads of this company telling me that I was making the most complicated jobs. I, they had to have them right then. So I went to my son and I said, we're going to go trial by fire. I'm going to throw you in the deep end. We're going to make these parts. And through the process, you are going to learn how to program. In a two week period, he had to make all these parts. I put it all on his shoulders. Up until that point, I like to avoid as much responsibility as I could. I figured as long as I was only doing what I was told and pushing, you know, pushing the buttons and whatnot and get home as soon as I could and wouldn't have to worry about having to program all these tough jobs, but had no choice at that point. You know, I, I guess I could have <laughs> argued or whatever, but basically took those jobs on, and got the parts programmed. And it came out beautiful, it came out perfect. What if learning CNC didn't have to be so difficult? Jacob? 
What if you could instantly get an answer to any question about CAD CAM and CNC? What if technology allowed you to go from an idea to a finished part all before lunch? What if one new idea, one new technique could change the future of your entire shop? And what if all of this was available for free to anyone, anywhere, online? Thousands of projects, prints, setup sheets, and downloadable files, video tutorials, inspiration, and much more. Take your CAD CAM and CNC abilities to another level. Welcome to Titans of CNC Academy. Boom! I was very familiar with the characteristics of autism. And I noticed that the characteristics of somebody with autism matched the ideal characteristics of a CNC operator. I mean, very simply, you want somebody who's really good working alone. You've got to have somebody who's really good working with a computer and is comfortable thinking like a computer, if you want to use that phrase. I really like uh, machines and technology and anything having to do with it. And the fact that this is a really more hands-on class just makes it more fun. And I love it already. I don't have much of like a working set memory or short term, so I store my ideas in physical objects. Making stuff works so much better for me. You know, I'm pretty much good with computers already, but this, this goes beyond computers and it's something, I mean, it's still something I'm familiar with, but at the same time, it's something I'm learning that's pretty much brand new to me. As long as we look at people through this lens of disabled, they're going to be held in a box and they're not going to be able to, to be fully productive and contribute either to themselves or society. So we need a new word. And that's why I coined the word uniquely able. It is very rewarding, I have to say, to work with these uniquely abled students. I, I have discovered they are more brain than we think that they would be. Today, you know, this industry has given him something that not only he enjoys, but it pays his bills. And I'm just saying I'm incredibly proud of uh, Tyson because when people saw him only on a computer, when they saw him not wanting to do anything or socialize with the world, they thought that he wasn't capable. My son is able to stand there and program amazing parts, better than anybody I've ever seen. And he's been there 20% of the time that most great machinists have been, but he has the head for it. The fact that Tyson found what he's looking for, even though he has like some disability, just speaks a lot of volume. And I like seeing what he's doing that makes me want to learn about this stuff even more. Today we're here to present a check to support this uniquely abled project. And There's a certain elemental years. connection that happens when people experience this together, and Tyson brings that to the table. And that's why I'm here today, is not only to support this, but express my gratitude for all he's doing. Here are individuals that we know have the abilities to achieve, but in a little different way, and that we can take the responsibility to figure out how can we package the instructional program that will help them be successful in achieving their educational goal. Now that I'm very grateful I get to work with my pops, Pops. Pops. That's like, all <laughs> But uh, now I enjoy coming to work. I enjoy seeing my dad and working with him. And it's great. And I get to make cool stuff every day. So just because you feel uncomfortable, like this right here is where you can excel. And then you'll realize that I can do anything. I just needed that confidence. I can make an amazing part. I can do it fast. I can solve problems because I'm an awesome individual with awesome talents and awesome gifts, and nobody's like me. I'm special. Wow, take a look at that. Oh, 
man, that's awesome. It just became more beautiful to me. You should put it on a chain, man. I know. Yeah. Like, like chains come from here. Okay. Like, yeah. These kids, for their whole life, have been told nobody's going to hire them, nobody's going to pay them. They got nothing that's worthwhile to society. And all of a sudden, they're in a job where they could be the best because of their innate way of operating. They're naturally better than you and I. That's pretty cool.